Friends, are you beginning to doubt the strength of your relationship? Perhaps you wonder if the love that once blazed brightly is now fading into ashes. In those quiet moments of uncertainty, when doubt weighs heavily on your heart, it's easy to feel lost and confused. But because God loves you, He doesn't want you to live in fear and doubt. He wants to show you the signs that your relationship may be coming to an end. Are you ready for this revelation? Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. God bless you. As a child of God, you understand that relationships are not just a human effort but a divine calling. God instilled love in you from the very beginning, creating Eve as a soulmate for Adam. Despite this, relationships can sometimes be challenging, a test of your faith, patience, and resolve. Sometimes, despite your best efforts, deepest prayers, and fervent hopes, relationships can end. In these moments of doubt and heartache, you must turn to the one who created you and has your best interests at heart for guidance. But what if he's been giving you signs that you haven't noticed? Let's examine seven signs or red flags that your relationship is over. The number one sign is when your partner no longer shares your commitment to God. This often resembles a crack in the foundation of your relationship. A godly relationship must be built on Jesus Christ. If you, as a believer, are in a relationship with someone who doesn't share the same faith, it is an error. Second, Corinthians 6, verse 14 to 16 says, Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? What harmony is there between Christ and Belial? Or what does a believer have in common with an unbeliever? What agreement is there between the temple of God and idols? For we are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will live with them and walk among them, and I will be their God, and they will be my people. A relationship not grounded in a commitment to God is likely to fall apart sooner or later. When your partner no longer shares your commitment to God, it may be that they were never committed from the start and only pretended to be, or they gradually drifted away. If your partner starts to move away from this commitment, it can cause a disconnection between you, leading to misunderstandings, conflicts, and a lack of unity in your relationship. Imagine a tree that once stood tall and strong, now with decaying roots. This happens when your partner's commitment to God starts to fade. The tree, once a symbol of strength and unity, because it was rooted in Jesus, begins to weaken. When this occurs, what do you do? Will you ignore it because you think it doesn't concern you? That's a mistake. Whatever happens in your partner's life will significantly impact you if not addressed. When Solomon married wives who worshipped other gods, it didn't take long for his heart to turn away from God. This is why you're advised not to be equally yoked with those who don't share your faith. There's a saying, if you can't influence them, then you have to join them. But this shouldn't apply to you. You shouldn't have to compromise your faith in God and your commitment to Him to maintain a relationship. Remember, God ordained marriage. So, what good is a relationship if it doesn't honor him? Think about this. When your partner starts losing interest in the things of God, it's a red flag you shouldn't ignore. If you do, it will greatly affect both you and your relationship with God. Number two, when trust is broken, it's like a bridge burned to ashes. The connection that once linked your hearts together is gone. Without trust in a relationship, it's clear that neither you nor your partner can hide it. Everything one of you does becomes an issue, leading to constant suspicion. Eventually, your hearts drift apart and you're no longer comfortable with each other. This is a clear sign that your relationship is over, even if you don't want to admit it. The truth is, there can be no relationship without trust. If you don't trust someone, you're risking your well-being by being with them. Proverbs 31 verse 11 says, Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. 
A relationship built on trust stands firm and isn't shaken by rumors meant to break it. When either you or your partner hears something about the other, do you wait to confirm before reacting? This is how it should be. God doesn't expect you to make drastic decisions you'll regret. Imagine if what you heard isn't true, but you've already reacted in anger. Look at the story of Adam and Eve with God. He knew they broke his trust and disobeyed, but he didn't immediately accuse them. Instead, he asked why they were hiding from him. In your relationship, you should also learn to ask questions before deciding. This will help preserve your bond. What do you think causes broken trust in a relationship? The primary cause is a lack of transparency. In a relationship aiming for marriage, openness is essential. The moment you start hiding secrets and sneaking around, you'll raise doubts in your partner's mind, especially if you weren't like that before. All other causes of broken trust stem from this. When you notice you're growing apart from your partner because of lost trust, try to resolve it immediately. It's natural to question whether your love can overcome the hurt and betrayal. But remember, you can rebuild trust. It takes time, effort, and commitment from both sides. Just as Nehemiah dedicated his time to rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem, you can also rebuild the walls of trust in your relationship. However, if only one person is willing to do the work, it's like trying to draw water from a well with one hand impossible. So, when trust is broken, it may indicate that your relationship is over, but it's also a chance to reflect on what went wrong and learn from the experience. As the psalmist said, it is good for me that I went through afflictions, that I may learn your statutes. You're going through this to learn and grow. Number three, communication breakdown. This is often the silent killer of relationships. Communication is key to any successful relationship. If you and your partner have constant communication problems, it may signify that your relationship is over. When you can't talk openly and honestly, it can break down trust and understanding. This happens in two ways. Either you or your partner avoid discussing certain things that gradually become big issues, or you lack good communication skills. Sometimes you might not know how to express yourself clearly, leading to constant misunderstandings. Your thoughts and feelings get lost in translation, causing frustration and making it hard to move forward together. Proverbs 12 verse 18 says, The words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. This shows the power of words and the importance of using them wisely in your relationship. When communication becomes hurtful and destructive, it can cause irreparable damage. Apostle Paul said, Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. When communication issues arise, the words that once encouraged each other become weapons of destruction. You can't keep avoiding problems hoping they will disappear. Avoiding communication only creates more distance between you and your partner. If communication is constantly breaking down, it may be time to reconsider whether the relationship is worth continuing. Open and honest communication is essential for a healthy and thriving relationship. Don't be afraid to seek help from a counselor or therapist to improve your communication skills and save what you have left. But if you and your partner cannot overcome these issues, it may be a sign that your relationship has ended. Parting ways amicably is better than staying in a relationship without communication. Remember, the end of one relationship is not the end of your story. As the psalmist wrote, the Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. God will guide your steps toward his choice and you will be happy again. Number four, repetitive infidelity. Imagine a thief sneaking in at night to steal your valuable possessions. That's how infidelity creeps in to destroy the trust and honesty in your relationship. When one partner strays, it shows a lack of respect and commitment. This betrayal can leave deep, hard to heal wounds. 
Whether in marriage or a relationship leading to marriage, infidelity is wrong. Hebrews 13 verse 4 says, Marriage should be honored by all, and the marriage bed kept pure, for God will judge the adulterer and all the sexually immoral. Many people think that because they aren't married yet, they can have sexual intimacy with anyone they please. But this isn't right. Even in a relationship, you should observe sexual purity before marriage. Infidelity isn't just physical betrayal. It includes emotional affairs, secret connections, and any behavior that erodes trust and intimacy. It's like a cancer that eats away at different parts of your relationship, leaving behind destruction and heartache. When you or your partner starts engaging in infidelity, it will show in your relationship no matter how hard you try to hide it. When you notice signs of infidelity, confront the issue directly and decide if the relationship is worth saving. Remember that even with infidelity, forgiveness is possible, but it takes effort and a willingness to rebuild trust. However, if the person at fault isn't ready to change and infidelity continues, it's a sign that the relationship is ending. In this case, letting go, healing, and growing through the process is better. You are precious to God, and He wants the best for you. In time, you will be back on your feet and stronger than before. You deserve a relationship built on trust, honesty, respect, and love. Dear friend, has your relationship taken a negative turn? Are you wondering what the problem might be? These are some signs that your relationship might be over. If you've been experiencing any of these issues, it's important to reevaluate your relationship. But there are still more important signs to note, so keep watching. Number five, when unresolved issues pile up. Unresolved issues in a relationship can feel like a heavy weight dragging you down. What starts as minor disagreements can become major problems if ignored, threatening the bond you share. Imagine carrying a backpack full of rocks on a long journey. You'll get tired and eventually have to put it down to keep going. Similarly, piling up issues in your relationship might seem manageable at first, but over time, the weight becomes overwhelming. When this happens, it's clear that your relationship is struggling. This occurs when you and your partner avoid discussing things that bother you, hoping they'll disappear. It's like a communication breakdown. Ignoring a leak in the roof only makes it worse. If you plant beautiful flowers in your garden but neglect them, weeds will eventually take over, choking out the flowers. If you don't address the issues in your relationship, they will fester and overshadow the love you once had. Matthew 18 verse 15 says, If your brother or sister sins, go and point out their fault just between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them over. This shows the importance of addressing issues directly to maintain healthy relationships. Remember the story of Cain and Abel. Jealousy and unchecked anger led Cain to kill Abel. If Cain had expressed his feelings, they might have found a solution. Instead, he let his feelings pile up, leading to sin. The sooner you address issues, the better your relationship will be. Don't let unresolved problems become a breeding ground for bitterness and resentment, creating an environment where negative forces can destroy your relationship. It's time to take action. Have honest and open conversations with your partner and be willing to work together to fix what's broken. If necessary, seek professional help. A relationship can only survive and thrive when both parties are eager to resolve their issues. Be humble patient and willing to listen to your partner. Think carefully before responding. If you're not mature enough to handle these issues, other problems may arise. Rehashing the same issues without resolution can be exhausting. If this is the case, it might be best to part ways. Don't let unresolved problems consume what you have left. Turn to God for rest and assurance of a better future. Number six. When there is no hope for the future. When you start feeling like there's no hope for a future together, it might be a sign that your relationship is ending. Many people today enter relationships just for fun, 
without planning for a serious future. But this isn't what God wants for you. God designed marriage with a purpose, and he doesn't want you to invest emotionally in a relationship without a future goal. This issue often arises when your future goals and dreams don't match. It leaves you feeling stuck. Amos 3 verse 3 says, Do two walk together unless they have agreed to do so. You can't build a future with someone who doesn't share your goals. It will only cause problems. If you can't imagine a future where both of you are happy and fulfilled, it's time to reassess your relationship. Consider what you want for your future and whether your partner helps you achieve those goals. A relationship should support and uplift you, not hold you back. The Bible describes love as patient, kind, and not self-seeking. It rejoices in the truth and always protects, trusts, hopes, and perseveres. If your relationship lacks these qualities and you can't see a future where these traits are present, it may be time to move on. Sometimes, letting go of a relationship that no longer serves you is the best choice for both you and your partner. Seek a relationship where you feel supported and can achieve your dreams. If your partner isn't providing that, it's time to move towards a future that brings you joy and fulfillment. Number seven, emotional distance leading to disconnection. Sometimes you might feel like you and your partner are growing apart losing the emotional connection you once had. If you or your partner start keeping feelings to yourselves, it can create emotional distance and disconnection. 1 Peter 4 verse 8 says, Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. This verse highlights the importance of communication and emotional connection in a healthy relationship Emotional distance can make you feel disconnected, even when you're together. You might spend less time together, and when you do, it might feel like there's a barrier between you. This can lead to loneliness and isolation. If you notice emotional distance in your relationship, address it with love before it causes more disconnection. Communication is crucial. Talk to your partner about how you feel and listen to their perspective. If it's too difficult to manage on your own, seek professional help. This can help you both work through your emotions and reconnect. Remember, relationships require effort from both partners. It's important to keep your emotional connection strong. Otherwise, emotional distance could signal trouble in your relationship. Dear child of God, you might be feeling confused about what to do next. Realizing that a relationship is ending can be very hard. But remember that relationships, like seasons, come and go. God's love, however, is forever. He created you and wants what's best for you. He heals broken hearts, mends shattered dreams, and restores hope. Your situation is no exception. It's okay to grieve and take time to heal. God understands your sorrow and is here to comfort you. Feeling frustrated and overwhelmed is normal. You might be unsure about the next steps or how to move forward, but don't give up on yourself. There's a bright future ahead of you. God got this message to help you avoid going in circles. Turn to Him now as you did before entering the relationship. Invite His guidance into your life. His wisdom surpasses all understanding and can help you see things more clearly. The Bible says to trust the Lord with all your heart and not rely on your own understanding. Can you trust him to guide you through this tough time? Remember King David, who, after returning from battle and finding their camp raided, asked God if he should pursue the enemies. God assured him that he would recover everything if he pursued. David acted on God's response. This shows that with God's guidance, you can make the right choices. Instead of dwelling in self-pity, spend time in prayer. Those signs might not necessarily mean you should end the relationship. They could be a call to pray more and address specific issues. However, it might also be time to let go if the relationship isn't growing. How will you know what to do without seeking God's guidance? Without it, you might feel stuck and uncertain. 
You are too precious to God for him to let you continue in doubt. Seek him in prayer. He is your father, always ready to listen. Pour out your heart and don't hold back any details. Asking God for guidance is not a one-time thing, but a continuous process. It's like talking to a close friend who understands your deepest wishes. You can ask God questions like, should I stay in this relationship? Or what should I do next? Pay attention to the gentle guidance he provides in your heart, leading you toward his plan for your life. His answers might not come right away, but they will come. He may give you signs to confirm his guidance, so be open to recognizing them. Trust that God's plan is beyond our understanding, even if it feels uncertain or uncomfortable. Make God's word a part of your daily life. Instead of letting yourself get depressed, immerse yourself in the encouraging messages of the Bible. His words can heal your heart and provide peace during tough times. As you seek God's guidance, be patient and don't rush ahead. Wait for his peace, which will help you know he's leading you toward a hopeful future. Let's pray. Dear God, sovereign ruler of all, I praise you for who you are. Thank you for your love and faithfulness, for your protection, provision, and guidance. Thank you for revealing the truth about my relationship. I am grateful. Merciful God, please forgive my sins and cleanse my heart. Create in me a pure heart that serves you always. Lord, I come to you with a heavy heart, seeking clarity about my relationship. It's difficult to understand how things have changed so suddenly. I need your help to understand what's wrong. You know my heart and see what I can't. Shine your light on my relationship and reveal any issues or warning signs. Help me see beyond my emotions and desires to understand your will for me and my partner. Grant me the strength to face the truth, even if it's painful. Give me the courage to let go of what doesn't serve your purpose for my life and to trust your plan for my future. Help me accept your will with humility, knowing you have a greater plan for me. Fill my heart with peace during this uncertain time and help me release my fears and doubts, trusting you to guide me. Give me faith to believe that you are working for my good, even when it's not clear. I surrender my relationship to you and trust you, and trust you will lead me in the best direction. If it's your will for this relationship to continue, show me how and help me resolve any issues. If it's not your will, help me let go and follow your plan for my life. I know this will be painful, but I understand that it's better than a failed marriage. Help me walk away with your peace. Thank you, Lord for your unfailing love and faithfulness. I know you are always with me, guiding and protecting me. May your wisdom be my guide in this season. I trust in your perfect timing and plan, confident that you have heard and answered my prayer. In your holy name, I pray, amen. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notification bell to get notified anytime. We post a new video. God bless you. Amen.